With us being a month into the brand new year, I have gotten the opportunity to try out new things and reflect. And I think I found five things that helps me stay productive and driven. Now, before I share with you the five steps that I've been taking, make sure that you like and subscribe. But yes, um, just join the channel. I'd love to have you guys here. And without further ado, I'm gonna get into step one, which for me is planning. Every single Sunday, I plan out my whole entire week with important to-dos and different things on my agenda. And I'm gonna to show you guys how that looks right now all right so here's my planner i got it from target i actually really really love this planner it comes with like a whole bunch of stickers that you can put every single month especially like the rent due one i use it all the time because i just be forgetting to pay rent each month has its own calendar set up like this so i do this every single month and then for february this is what i have for february but just to go back each week has sections for each day and with each day comes its separate to-do list section which i put like all of my to-do items on this i put little notes on the side of each day to kind of remind me if i have anything important on that day and then on the sides i have all of the to-do items on that day and then it helps with the fact that there's little circles next to it so that way i could just x off whatever i do whenever i get it done and um it's just beneficial for me also, if I have any time, I like to do little doodles on my planner. I mean, it's terrible. It's not good, but it's just like a way for me to kind of like be creative inside of my planner and kind of stay consistent. I had started January 5th, and since then I've kind of been like pretty consistent with it. It gives you like little quotes, like what you do makes a difference and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. I love this planner and it has helped me become productive and want to be productive and want to have fun planning so i definitely recommend this planner there's so many reasons why i would recommend planning but i honestly feel like planning has allowed me to make a to-do list each day and prioritize the things on a to-do list because realistically as humans we're not going to get everything that we want done no matter how productive we want to be we have to make sure that we're prioritizing all of the tasks that we have for the day because it's highly unlikely that you're getting getting through every single task every single day. So for me to visualize all of the tasks on a piece of paper and be able to see exactly what I need to do every single day has allowed me better chance at first remembering all of the stuff that I have to do and then being able to prioritize the list and pick important stuff that I have to do over things that I could maybe move for a next day. So it just helps me be more productive each and every single day, but also stay consistent. And it also helps with my work ethic because I'm remembering to do stuff or I'm doing things ahead now instead of doing things the day of because I forgot or something so it's really beneficial and I definitely get into planning so the next thing that I do to stay productive and driven is actually skincare I had no idea how therapeutic skincare could be until I made it a routine every morning and every night now I do have a skincare video out where I review Beekman 1802's goat milk skincare set so if you guys are interested watching that definitely check it out i'll link it somewhere inside of this space but skincare has definitely helped me personally because skincare is very very important for everyone but also mentally because i'm being a lot more hygienic and on top of that it's allowing me to find structure in my life balance and discipline in my life that's definitely something important that you need continuing especially as a college student to be able to have discipline and structure and i feel like that looks different for everyone and it looked different for me throughout the years but this is the most discipline that I've had and being able to add a skincare routine every single day and being consistent with it has also helped me to be productive and be driven and know that I can be consistent with majority of the things that I do on a daily basis. Okay, now for this next thing, I honestly never ever thought I'd actually be saying it like ever but I honestly feel like something that has helped me so much this year has been consistency at the gym and going to the gym each and every single day. Now, I am not the most athletic person at all and I low-key hate the gym sometimes, but honestly, the gym has been so therapeutic for me. I personally love getting my body into shape 
and love working on my body all the time. As someone who struggles with body image, I honestly find it really therapeutic to go to the gym each and every single week. But not because I want to change my body because I don't like my body, but because I love my body and I want to work on my body. And because I have this mindset, I take it to the gym every single day that I love my body and I wanna work on my body, I wanna improve my body, and being able to have that like structure and discipline of going to the gym each and every single day whether it be with your gym partner or whether it be alone going to the gym each and every single day has definitely helped me be more driven be more productive and also find more consistency in my life which was pretty important for me all right, I think that the fourth one can kind of be intertwined with the fifth one in a sense, but I think the fourth one for me personally has been believing in my artistic ability. Now, I know that this, I guess, could sound like cliche or easier said than done, but I talk about this in my move-in vlog and about the struggles that I had with starting content creating because I doubted myself so much and I doubted how creative I can be and how good my content can be. I doubted if I could create good content and because of it I took so long with releasing like any type of content. I took so long stalling something that I really like to do because I didn't believe in my artistic ability and I didn't have confidence in myself. I feel like I talk about f like fear of failure but what is wrong with failure other than the fact that you learn from it? And I feel like because I ran from it so much, I ran from failure, I ran from being critiqued, I ran from being bad, and I didn't believe in myself. And I feel like believing in my artistic ability, believing that I can be creative, that I can have creative avenues, and that I can be able to create good videos has allowed me to start my content creating like a journey and has allowed me to blossom as a person and grow as a person. Okay, so why I say that the last step kind of goes with this one is because this one is allowing yourself grace. And that is something that I have carried with me for the last month heavily. And it's that although I'm trying so hard to be productive to stay consistent to be structured to be disciplined and every single day i have to-do list and i prioritize i also need to know that i'm gonna stumble i might fail i might not do everything on the list every single day i might not be as productive as i was the day before i might not do as much as i was the day before but am i doing something each day am i doing something new am i adding to what i did the day before for. If I'm doing anything in any sense that's more productive and that adds more to my life each and every single day, I'm going to give my, myself grace in knowing that I don't need to have everything done. I don't need to have everything figured out. I don't need to have all of my to-do list checked off, but I need to be doing something. Letting myself know it's okay to mess up. It's okay to slack off sometimes. It's okay to have free time. Okay to take time to yourself, but also knowing if you're gonna do that you gotta work hard while doing it as well so i feel like allowing myself grace allowing myself the autonomy to sit down and be like you know what i did four tasks yesterday i did three i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna relax for the rest of the day because i feel accomplished just like i don't know i feel like that would have been super important to me in excelling at just staying driven staying passionate and staying productive is allowing myself grace and allowing myself to literally be human and make mistakes i think that has helped me so much and if it can help you guys i would love for it to be able to help so yeah you guys those are the five things that i've been doing to kind of help me be productive and stay driven and this could look different for everyone try it try it and see what works for you see how you can stay driven how you can stay productive and literally let me know i'd love to know and i'd love to adopt new things into my lifestyle into my daily routine so that way i'm able to learn from you guys and be able to grow as well so if you guys have any recommendations definitely let me know but um thank you guys so much for watching if you got this far and i hope i helped you guys with something anything make sure you guys check out my other videos i had mentioned the skincare one but i have a skincare video in case you guys want to kind of know anything about what i do with my skin and how i can use that 
is a form of therapy. And um, also, I've been using candles a lot. I love lighting candles now and like putting them down, just having them like, just like fill my room. And I've been like kind of cleaning my room. The last time you guys saw it in the skincare video, but hey, my room's kind of clean now. But you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you guys took something out of this video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.